An illegal street takeover ends in a crash on the brand new 6th Street Bridge in downtown LA. Now, this was a second sideshow caught on camera on the bridge, which opened just last week. And apparently, it's not the only problem reported on the bridge. KCAL 9's Candace Crone is live in downtown LA this afternoon with more on what's turning into a constant problem now. Candace? That's right. Well, since the bridge reopened, neighbors say that it has been a hot spot for illegal activity all times of the day. Now, we did speak to a woman who was hit in last night's crash. She said that she is lucky to be alive. It was a wild scene on the brand new 6th Street Viaduct Bridge in Boyle Heights. A white charger crashed into another car and then hit the bridge as a crowd watched. I'm really glad to be alive. Yes, I just like I just can't. I flew. I literally flew. I remember the whole thing. I flew across the, across my car. Jessica Pugak told us she was driving across the bridge Monday night when cars started doing donuts, stalling traffic, and putting on a dangerous sideshow. That's when one of the vehicles hit hers. At first, I was like, oh my God, this is my first time at the bridge and there's going to be a takeover. Oh my God, that's so cool. Ooh. And then, no, it wasn't cool because I almost died. A witness captured this video of a man seen rummaging through the driver's side of the charger before closing the door and walking off. The crash is one of several recent problems just a week after the $588 million bridge was reopened. You can see evidence of street takeovers from countless tire marks. Vandals have also sprayed graffiti on the columns. It looks the community look bad and you know that's that's what hurts for me. Because then what are people going to say of L.A., you know? I want them to say good things, not, oh, you know, they're already messing up the bridge. People who live and work in the area say they're disappointed the iconic bridge is making headlines for the wrong reasons. I know it's hard for law enforcement to be trying to stop them, but that's, it seems like they're, everywhere you go, they're doing these donut things. And that's too bad. And we did check in with LAPD on how to stop this illegal activity, but we're told to contact the mayor's office. A spokesperson for Councilman Kevin DeLeon's office, uh, who represents this area, said that they are meeting with the Bureau of Engineering to figure out how to make the bridge safer. Live in Boyle Heights, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News. Back to you guys. Candace, thank you.